Is this the new normal facing the UK? A climate warning that is now all too real. From severe flooding to more extreme heat, unusual for these isles. A pattern the country is struggling to cope with. It's the shift in the baseline, what we regard as normal weather, that is changing. And we, we see a lot of these examples in our data. For example, 34 degrees Celsius recorded in seven of the last 10 years. Um, but the 50 years before that, it was seven times in the previous 50 years before that. So something that was relatively unusual is becoming much more common. Since the start of the last century, the sea levels have already doubled from 1.5 to more than 3 millimetres a year. And in the past 30 years alone, not only has the UK warmed by 0.9 degrees Celsius, it has also become 6% wetter. On paper, that may seem a small difference. In reality, this is the effect. The infrastructure is simply unable to cope. And there is no quick fix in sight in the face of the elements sea level will not be possible to reverse on, on any short time scale. Um, there is a commitment uh, to sea level rise that has started, which will persist over many, many hundreds of years, even if we stop all CO2 emissions today. It is part of a wider phenomenon of extreme weather across the continent. Recent floods in Western Europe have wreaked devastation. And rivers in Germany surge to levels not seen in hundreds of years. The, the predictions are, 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 are very clear uh, that with essentially more heat energy in the system and the atmosphere able to hold more water, um, that we are likely to get uh, more storminess, more extreme events, uh, wetter events becoming wetter, drier events becoming drier. Uh, and the predictions around sea level uh, an exorable rise that are, 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 are clear. The race is on to find a solution as quickly as possible. The UK and Italy will host the COP26 climate change conference in Glasgow later this year. Set against a climate crisis that has seen all manner of extreme events around the world. The UK calls the summit the world's last best chance to repair the damage caused by increased carbon emissions. But there is little detail as of yet on what plans the world's 20 major economies have to prevent a further increase in dangerously extreme weather conditions. Sonia Gallego, Al Jazeera.